Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are well. So yeah guys, ninga ngibuza uthi ngigqoke ivest FC yakwanda ngaye and stuff nge busy. So you guys once you see me shooting in this room, just know go hectic go busy. So <laughs> like I don't know why ne guys like um I was busy shooting a video. There's a video that I was busy shooting. Um I asked a few people to give me dares and they gave me dares. So I was editing the videos that I took of them giving me those dares and I also was taking a video of myself doing those dares. Mm. Sano. And I also I'm also trying to like edit a video for my intro. So kunenge guys, it's a lot. At the same time, I don't want to lie. Like I was at a point where I'm like um I don't know like I just wanted to quit YouTube. Like uh, not really quit, but I wanted to like take a break from everything because um I'm not in a good space. Like I don't want to lie. Currently there's a lot happening in my life and you know, I'm just trying to find balance <laughs> between everything. But praise God, um here we are. We are alive. We are beautiful. We are <laughs> We are pushing. We are pushing. One thing about life, we can't say we're all pushing. We can't say we're all pushing. Otherwise, you won't survive. Otherwise, you won't survive. So, hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> okay, no. Let me be serious. <laughs> let me be serious. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why name but I, let me tell you a reason why I'm shooting this video. So I was encouraged by you guys actually this video like I'm here to thank you guys. Like um I didn't expect this love the support because one thing about me I'm one person who believes that um okay there's a verse in the Bible that says a prophet is never honored in in his birthplace or something like that. Or something like that. Yeah, sorry guys, if you guys are hearing like the noise, Jobang Shil was a good piece, you But I just had to shoot this video because because you guys, you guys have been DMing me. Those who have my WhatsApp numbers have been sending me um messages. When are you dropping on YouTube? So I don't know, like I feel like I should try to vlog every day. The thing is, just like I told you guys, uh so like there's a lot happening and most of the times you'll find that I'm at one place and I'm just and it's not a good place to be you know vlogging yeah so yeah but yeah, today we are here and we are talking about this so yeah um a lot of you guys have been DMing me that when are you dropping and I'm like like this is so unreal to me. This is so unreal to me because if anything, I didn't expect any support from people who were close to me because I, 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 I don't think like, like every time when I do something, I just don't expect people around me to be supporting me. I just know Guti, the people who will be there for me are people I, I do not know, like complete strangers and I will build a relationship with them um, via the internet, obviously. So, um, so yeah, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. I really appreciate the love, the support, the motivation, the, yeah, the everything that I'm getting from you guys. So, uh, I wanted to, <laughs> guys, no, like, like I, I'm trying to be serious right now, but there's this joy in me because, you know, in the midst of everything that is happening right now, then you guys are sending me those messages, you know. I was like, damn, like, no, this is not happening. Because, like, you know, life will put you in a corner and give you a lot of reasons to not move. Then God will be like, no, no, like, you know, here's a piece of salt, a pinch of salt, you know, a pinch of sugar. Focus on that. And yeah, um, that's what I'm deciding to focus on. So, let me talk about another thing that I'm here for. Yeah, so let's forget about that. Forget about it. 
forget about it you feel me forget about that so guys um there is a friend of mine yeah there's a friend of mine that um i've learned something from like um not necessarily that they taught me that but i had to to find a lesson from the whole situation that was happening so this friend of mine um has a chance to so um he came to me and told me bro um there's a shutdown coming up so I, i want to apply for that and everything and i was like okay but the ownership also they by money like the they by town so how about you apply for that as well and what he said to me was sorry what he said to me was um no man uh i don't think i need learnerships and stuff and stuff i just don't want to study and um i just want to enter shutdown bro shutdown has a lot of money shutdown you know yeah you guys know how hyped shutdown is so he was busy telling me a lot of things about shutdown then to myself now i'm sitting back and i'm looking at this um in this way that uh, 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 most of us people we we tend to focus on the temporary things that are there to distract us from the permanent things that we've been praying for because this person has been telling me that he 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 wants to go to school or like to find a job a permanent job to start working so he can make money to support his family so now i'm giving him like a permanent thing bro apply for a learnership it's not like you won't be earning anything there's a stipend there so just apply for that but no he is choosing to focus on um the permanent thing which is shut down in the name of um it has a lot of money yes guys i i, I don't know how much money people make from shut down but let's say it's it's plenty of money but um this is the thing you will enter shut down this year the next year okay footy it's not even for months maybe 2 weeks 3 weeks you are working there you earn that 20 something thousand you come back here it's done literally it's done because by that time the um, the learnership will be closed like the applications for for the learnership will be closed and it's you and life and the 20 something thousand which will take you nowhere if we're being honest like it will take you nowhere bro so moral of this story i want you guys to to learn how to like look at things in a different way let's stop looking at things as in like okay this this comes in a big package but it is not um guaranteed to last it's temporary then there's also a thing that okay this one looking at it right now like i use the name but it is there to last it is there for life because honestly ngeni leadership ya funda there's a stipend then after that they give you a job instantly they give you a job after that you are working there maybe it will be that 3 months probation after that 3 months you are permanent So let's learn to look at things uh, in a different way and let's pray because guys another thing I feel like this is the thing every time we pray every time we, I didn't want to make this spiritual by the way that's why I was getting around the bushes but I guess this is where we are every time we pray to God um God answers our prayers I once saw a quote that says um every time god is about to wipe your tears the devil will offer you an, a handkerchief for you to wipe your, your your own tears of which handkerchief will get wet eventually and it, it won't be efficient enough for you to use it so every time we pray god answers our prayers but what happens is as we get closer to our to our to the answers to our prayers um the devil will will definitely bring something that will look like the answer that you are praying for so learn in the process of praying for whatever that you are praying for also pray that god please grant me with wisdom so that i see what is from you and i see what is not from you 
Because trust and believe, not everything that you will get, not every door that will open, will be opened by God. Some doors are opened by the devil and trust and believe they are traps and they are there to distract whatever it is that is good that is coming your life to your life. So learn to pray that, Father, please grant me with wisdom so that I see the good things that you prepared for me and I do not fall for those that the devil, for the distractions that the devil might bring my way. So, yeah, that is what I want you, I, I want us to, 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 to highlight in our minds. Because, guys, honestly, if I tell you, if you know this, you know this, there, there are opportunities that presented themselves. It was so unfortunate that they were, they were a lord and you had to choose which one you are going for. And it is so unfortunate that the one you went for uh, was not the one. And right now you are left in a space where you're like, I should have opted for that one. So we need to pray that, Father, every time you answer our prayers, every time you grant us good things, please help us see what is from you and help us see what is there to distract us from your blessings. So, yeah, guys, that is that. That is that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Please, if you reach this part of the video, comment down. Comment down, Sipamandla. Yeah, comment down my name, Sipamandla. Hashtag Sipamandla. Sipamandla, 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 Sipamandla. Yeah, give us strength. Give us strength. Give us strength. Give us strength. Get a pleasure and now on Allah Mandla, Kesan. But K will see. Maybe in the news and Nipamandla. Guys, I think I have to wrap this video up because for sure you guys can hear the noise and everything that is happening. So uh please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um comment down below. Uh subscribe. Share, please share this video. Please, please, please share this video. And you guys Keep keep those DMs coming. Honestly, they make my life. They make my 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 life. Yeah, they make my life. They make me the whole me. They make this YouTube channel to go. Yeah, those DMs are the petrol that I need. You feel me? You get what I'm saying. So yeah. Thank you very much.